You see, yeah, uh, very also, mixed. I think I think that man is speaking from the heart there. You may not agree with them, but he's had his troubles, and he thinks that is his way of doing parenting. So far, it's worked for him. Yeah, the thing about rationalisation is we can't act in a way that doesn't live in accordance with our conscience. So basically, you'll make it sound like it fits. And I appreciate people think that hitting kids... I get it all the time when I'm on here. If I say don't hit children, I'll have people saying it didn't do me any harm. Unless then, you can give then, me an identical child brought up in exactly the same environment with the same parents, you can't do it. what's your idea of tough love? Do you believe in tough love in any form? How I absolutely do you get? believe that parents don't even need when they're given the right tools. And the thing is, the right education, the right support, there's a big thing around that. They don't need to ever raise a hand to a child or even... No, but what would you, for example, what would you have done with that boy? He said he was oh, constantly in trouble. <clears throat> he would have been but contracted. But you say you've been, you know, he's been thrown yeah. off the school bus yeah. not just once but several well, times for also, bullying. To be fair to him as well, I would say if from two years old you've been really, really struggling that way, I'd be looking at an assessment. I genuinely would. Okay. It could be that he needs um, an assessment. Comments coming in mixed. Katie Beryl says, teaching kids not to bully by being a bully. How That's ironic. It. I'd never want my son to do things that I ask him to do out of fear. That's it. Lucy Oates, however, says children aren't being disciplined these days as parents are far too frightened. Kids shouldn't rule the house. If this teaches them a lesson, I'm OK with it. And so they go on mixed. Totally get however, that. However, the poll that we were running today asking you, has internet child shaming gone too far by posting those videos, 86% of you say yes. People in the UK so are brilliant. I think that thing of people saying it's not so much the punishment sometimes, it's, it's the fact it's the humiliation of posting it. I seems think what's terrifying be. is the posting brings it to light that it's actually happening. happening. Yes. Yeah, the fact is it'd be worse to me if you think people are bringing their children home and shaving their head. I mean, when we were at school and you used to have all sorts of weird Bay City roller hairstyles or Rod Stewart mm -hmm. or whatever like it was, and your parents were saying, I'm going to cut that off. You know, you're that was your do, identity. You're, but yes. Yeah. But the idea that that would be seen as abuse now, retrospectively, would just make me laugh. But yeah, and people are like that around It used to be like that in our day, because things yeah. change and the world has moved on. You yeah. can't smack children now. And but also there's abusive. reasons behind it, there's research behind it. It's not because we're trying to give parents a hard time. We want the best for kids. Right. OK, okay listen, it's Emma. a really interesting topic. Thank you so much for getting involved. Always, I always li like talking to you because I always like seeing, you know, what's behind. It's like an onion, you peel it all <laughs> off as to, as to what's behind there.